now we go ahead to to understand it further so what happens if i have if if mass of a uh, gas is m grams okay and m is equal to and m is the molar mass okay so m is the molar mass so how do i calculate the number of moles it is m upon m therefore correct number of moles molar mass is is gram molecular mass right mm -hmm. so so you should understand you cannot use this in kg okay mm -hmm. so number of moles n is equal to m upon m upon m this you already know correct now from avogadro's law from avogadro's law what happens from avogadro's law n or or i have v is equal to k4 k4 into n now what does that mean this means that k4 into m upon m m upon capital m so so m is equal to k4 m upon v now mass upon volume is nothing but density so so this where 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 d is equal to d is equal to m upon v where where d is the density and it is equal to mass upon volume okay this is the density now what does that tell us that the density of the gas is directly proportional to the molar mass is it not hmm this tells me that the density of a gas is directly proportional to the molar mass to the molar mass okay so higher is the molar mass the density of the gas will proportionally start rising up okay we understand that fine now the ground for moving into the ideal gas law gas equation is ready fine so but we should first define what an ideal gas is an ideal gas gas is a gas that strictly that strictly follows the boils law charles law and avogadro's law 
Why didn't I say Guy Lussac's law? It should follow that. Why didn't I say that? Because when you say boils and that, it automatically. Ah. Because when I say the boils and the Charles, it automatically implies that Guy Lussac's will be obeyed. It has to. There is simply no way out. Correct. And we had seen that. Okay. Hmm. Now, what does it mean? It means that we are talking about a gas in which the intermolecular forces are absolutely nil. So, so the ideal gas is one the, in which the intermolecular forces, the intermolecular forces are are nil are absolutely nil it's not there and in the same breath i'm saying that there is nothing like an ideal gas okay there is nothing like an ideal gas but still we are trying to find out the equation for an ideal gas okay why because okay fine the gases are not ideal but the deviations will be small so i'll expect what to expect i'll know what to expect fine that that is one thing otherwise bringing every even the even the minute amount of intermolecular forces into account and more so at lower temperatures and very high pressures it, it radically alters everything right that we'll soon see but as far as the gases are concerned under certain conditions they do behave like an, an ideal gas or at least somewhere around that and ideal gas equation is a simple equation to follow and 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 uh, uh, relate to and to conclude from hence we still are gunning for a for a gas that is ideal and 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 straight away saying that there is nothing like an ideal gas okay so so the intermolecular forces are gone no intermolecular forces but this does not happen okay this will never happen fine however No gas is an ideal gas. However, there are conditions which turn even the real gases into an ideal gas. Okay? Certain conditions, certain conditions like like high temperature and low pressure make the gases ideal make the gases close to an ideal gas i should say bring the gases okay the bring it close why because as you increase the temperature the the molecules gain energy that much we know as I re as I increase the temperature and, and you'll you'll be very very clear about it when you go to the kinetic theory of gases when you have got an equation in hand telling you how the energy goes up and for now you take it that it goes direct it is directly proportional to the to the temperature in Kelvin temperature in Kelvin it is actually each molecule will have an energy of 3 by 2 kBT where kB is a is a constant called Boltzmann's constant. We'll soon come to it. Don't worry. 
okay so so it is directly proportional to that so so when they they gain sufficient energy then whatever is the impact of those intermolecular forces the attractive intermolecular forces they also seem to be nil in front of that and when the pressure is low so you're not forcing the molecules to come pretty close to each other then they they start behaving like that and there are many cases where where these things hold okay and hence we have got this inclination towards studying the gases as an as an ideal gas okay and that's why we are going for an equation that is an ideal gas equation okay fine